Hey guys, Jim Grant here for Ammo Land TV, and I am here with Paul of the Box Man of Magic. Box products. Thank you, the legend himself, the, the core designer, and had their new, is it Box Trot 102, you said? Yep, Mike 102. And it it's very, very cool. It is like the ultimate AKAR hybrid, and not in a overly chunky, cumbersome platform as some of the previous attempts have been. Right. This looks absolutely awesome. So give me the rundown, Paul. What am I looking at? So about two years ago, we launched the Gen 2, the, the 556, Mic 15. Hugely success. It has an integrated recoil system. Very, very simple DI system with a non-reciprocating ambidextrous charging handle. Nice. And after we developed that for about a year, we're like, you know, this would make a great AK variant. So we started that development, and about six months ago, we started doing production testing at Kalash Bash, of all places, nice, nice. and we let people run those guns for the whole weekend, no issues, went to Red October, same thing, ran great, and here we are today with the Mic 102, which will launch tomorrow. Very, very light, simple, and we brought it and we showed it to AK enthusiasts, and they're like, sure. this is simple, we love it. Um, now, what I like to say is, this, there's not anything that this doesn't do better than an AK except run dry. Sure. It's an AR, right? Sure. AR variant, so it needs to be wet. Sure. We were blessed with these AC Unity mags. Oh yeah, they're very, very affordable and they work. That's that's the thing. We didn't want to launch this until consumers could have a, a, a cheap, affordable mag. Yeah, you want well, $75 mags for it. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Nobody wants that. Yeah. So there's something cool I'd like to show you. Mm. Um, so we, we have the non-reciprocating charging handle, but we also have the slap mod. So let me do that again. So with an AK, you don't get the ability to lock the bolt back. That's right. And we overcame that. I got a very smart engineer, Neil. Uh, he's worked with us for a long time and he helped develop this for us. Um, we're launching a Mic 102 tomorrow. We'll have these uh, slap mod charging handles available in the first quarter. Nice. And then in the second quarter, we'll come out with the X39 version. Very, very nice. So I know it takes a uh, 102 pattern mags. Uh, does that mean that you could potentially modify a Galil mag for it, or it's a little bit different spec-wise? That's a great. That's a great question. So what we what we found was if we were very careful about how we supported the magazine, sure. we got really really good feeding out of the gun, Ex excellent reliability. Sure. Now that came with some challenges because of all the variable on the yeah, on the oh 102 yeah. mags. So we're we're started with the AC Unity. There's uh, the other. I can't remember the top of my head. There's a translucent green brand. Yeah, works excellent. Yeah, the Polish ones, right? Polish ones. <laughs> yeah. Those work excellent. We we in all in all you know in all fairness and honesty we did have some trouble with uh, the Polish mags and we're going to make some modifications to adapt to that magazine. Awesome. So right now we're recommending two mags, but given a, you know a few few more weeks we'll have it to run with every magazine. Very cool. Well, thank you so much, Paul. Awesome. My Very pleasure. excited. Very excited. Hey, Amoland, we love you. Shot Show 2023. Come check us out. 15023. What a send off. Thanks, guys.